Welcome to Community Presence to Grow Your Business video presentation. I am Elaine Wright Harris. And I am Wanda Moore. Today, we will share with you how a strong community presence can certainly grow your business. First, let me introduce you to my colleague, Elaine Wright Harris. Elaine began her notary public career in June of 2002. She holds two prestigious NNA notary titles, 2005 NNA Special Honoree and 2009 NNA Notary of the Year. Elaine is also a notary public educator in Maryland. I'd like to introduce my colleague, Wanda Moore. Wanda became a notary public in July of 2003. This year, Wanda earned the prestigious award of the National Notary Association Special Honoree, ranking as one of the top three notaries out of four million notaries in the country. She is a notary educator in Maryland. Wanda also is our Notary Public Day Giving Back to the Community Coordinator. Our presentation will focus on how a strong community presence can grow your business. Notaries play an important role in today's society. We are the guarantors of trust for today's business, which enables important documents to satisfy governmental, business, and personal needs. These transactions take place nationally, locally, and within communities. Communities consist of many clients with different notarial needs. It's like a puzzle. And there are many pieces to this puzzle that require and satisfy those notarial needs. The bottom line, there are many opportunities available for notary public professionals to get involved in creating a community presence. Let's study this chart of opportunities that exist within our communities. Wanda and I have grouped these notary opportunities into five categories. The first category is specialty areas, which highlights opportunities for notaries who choose to perform specialized services for a particular purpose. In most cases, these services are performed in addition to regular notary duties. The second category, volunteerism, highlights opportunities for notaries who provide services to promote the welfare of others. The third category, government, highlights opportunities for notaries performing services to facilitate the legal process. The fourth category, service provider, highlights opportunities for notaries providing services in a particular business area. And the fifth category, Education highlights opportunities for notaries who choose to facilitate the learning of notarial practices and procedures. In addition to grouping the opportunities into five categories, Wanda and I will give a brief description of the opportunity, indicate the community served, and how performing these opportunities benefit both the community and the notary. We will also indicate if the opportunity provides an additional stream of income. For your convenience in learning more about the opportunities, we have provided links to articles published by the National Notary Association that explain the opportunities in further detail. The links can be found at the end of this video presentation. Notaries who grew their businesses by creating a strong community presence. Over the years at NNA's annual conferences, Elaine and I have met some wonderful notaries from all over the United States. We have made great friendships and established wonderful working relationships with many of these notaries. Some of them have grown their businesses by establishing a strong community presence. The first category of opportunities in the community is the specialty areas. This specialty area highlights opportunities for notaries who choose to perform specialized services for a particular purpose. As Elaine mentioned earlier, 
We have grouped potential opportunities into various categories. And as we proceed through the presentation, you will see that we've also matched certain notaries to a tagline that best describes how they stand out in their community. The first potential opportunity in the specialty area is the wedding officiant who provides the ultimate customization and flexibility in performing wedding ceremonies. Community serve lovers who desire to tie the knot. If you choose to consider this opportunity, check your state laws because all states do not permit notaries public to perform weddings. However, there is another option that may permit one to perform a wedding, and that is the internet ordained ministry. The benefit to the community is convenient wedding services for a variety of reasons. The benefit to the notary is an additional stream of income. Crystal Whiteside Lemon is tagged as the wedding official. Crystal has been performing weddings for the past six years. You can get more information about the wedding official and the internet ordained minister at NNA's notary bulletin entitled, How Notaries Can Add Wedding Officials to Their List of Services. Again, be sure to check your state laws for both opportunities. Another opportunity is the diversified, who utilizes skills, knowledge, and experience to serve, teach, and support a variety of clients and entities in the community. Community serve notaries, signing agents, businesses, the general public, and the legislature. The benefit to the community is increased knowledge of novice and seasoned notary public professionals. The benefit to the notary is gratification and sharing and public personal development. Daniel Lewis broadens ideas, skills, and knowledge to service his community. Innovator. An innovator develops solutions to meet special community needs. Judy Lawrence from Pennsylvania has been tagged the innovator. She introduces new methods, ideas, or products. She's actually developed an online educational program to train notaries in the trending field of apostille. Community served journal public including international travelers seeking this specialized type of request. Benefit to the community, ability to transact business internationally, benefit to the notary, an additional stream of income. An apostille is the name of a specialized certificate issued by the Secretary of State and attached to a notarized document witnessing the legitimacy of the document in order that it can be used out of the country. There are several steps required of the document signer to complete this process. In the state of Maryland, the signer first takes the document to a notary for notarization. Next, the signer must take the document to the clerk of circuit court in the county where the notary was commissioned for notary verification and next, the signer takes the document to the office of the Secretary of State in Annapolis, Maryland for certification. With Judy's innovative educational program, the document signer can rest assured that all the steps in the process are handled properly when carried out by the notary public professional. For more information, you can reference NNA's notary bulletin Notary Basics, Understanding Office Skills and Authentication Certificate. Another opportunity within the specialty area category is Immigration Form Specialists, who assist immigrants in filling out United States Citizenship and Immigration Services forms, providing translation services if needed, and securing supporting documents. The community serve immigrants seeking assistance in filling out the USCIS forms. Note, 
A notary can serve as an immigration form specialist as long as they meet state requirements. Immigration form specialists are prohibited from giving unauthorized legal advice. The benefit to the community, affordable services versus the cost of an immigration attorney. Benefit to the notary, an additional stream of income. Amelia Rivas, immigration form specialist from Texas, provides limited non-legal help with immigration forms. For more information, you can reference immigration form specialists frequently asked questions found in NNA's knowledge database. The inspector. The inspector utilizes a smartphone to photograph business furnishings and equipment and car insurance requests. The report is returned to the client via the internet. The community served insurance companies, businesses. The benefit to the community, fast, convenient service, minimal costs. The benefit to the notary, flexibility, short time commitment, additional stream of income. One type of inspector is called photo inspector who makes an appointment to meet the involved parties, usually in reference to a car accident, takes photos as requested by the insurance company and forwards the photos back to the company using a smartphone app. Another type of inspector is called field inspector. Several years ago, I took an assignment in which a church was applying for a loan. I was asked to make an appointment with the church clerk, take a picture of the outside of the church. On the inside, I took pictures of the computers, copy machines. There were no documents that required notarization. After about 15 minutes, I was finished. The information was forwarded back to the requesting company. I like the flexibility of integrating this short time commitment into my current schedule. For more information regarding the photo inspector, you can reference NNA's notary bulletin, companies seeking notaries to perform 10 minute photo inspections. For more information regarding the field inspector, you can reference NNA's bulletin, field inspection offers additional income opportunities for notaries. The second category of opportunities in the community is volunteerism. This category highlights opportunities for notaries who provide services to promote the welfare of others. The survivor. Health challenges can motivate notaries public to reach out and help others in similar situations. Community serve, health challenge individuals. Benefit to the community promotes comfort and guidance. Benefit to the notary is gratification in helping others experiencing similar challenges. Danette Ramcharan, 2018, NNA Notary of the Year for Maryland, promotes, advocates, and champions a cause. She is a cancer survivor who turned her health challenge into a positive for the community. Jeanette conducts blanket drives for the distribution to cancer patients. She has also obtained a license to sell life insurance so that she can provide timely and helpful service to the general public and health challenge individuals. The next opportunity in the vol volunteerism category is volunteer. Pictured here, a Maryland notaries public who have been tagged as volunteers. For the past couple of years, Maryland notaries in conjunction with the Pro Bono Resource Center of Maryland have provided pro bono notarial services to the community of low income seniors. In preparation of wills, advanced medical directives, and power of attorney documents. The benefit to the community, free notary services. The benefit to the notary, gratification of helping others, training. 
Many notaries were eager and willing to provide this service. They were recognized with certificates of appreciation for their service during our annual Notary Public Day. Another opportunity is Mentor. The Mentor provides guidance by sharing notary knowledge, skills, and experiences to assist others to excel in the notary profession. Community served notaries public both locally and nationally. The benefit to the community served personal development knowledge. The benefit to the notary gratification of helping others. Jamie Liggins, 2004 National Notary Association Notary of the Year from Louisiana has been tagged as the mentor. She's an advisor, counselor, and consultant. The saying holds true. The best gift you can give to someone is your time. The next opportunity within the vol volunteerism category is supporter. The supporter supports, promotes, and advocates a cause or movement. The community serve is the general public. The benefit to the community is food, shelter, clothing, financial support. The benefit to the notary, the gratification of helping others. Wanda Moore, 2020 National Notary Association Special Honoree from Maryland is a supporter. It was last September when Wanda watched the news of Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas on television. She was so moved by the devastation of the impact of this hurricane that she decided to develop an online Salvation Army fundraiser and invited Maryland notaries to join in contributing to help the people of the Bahamas. As we are living through the COVID-19 pandemic, Wanda, again, was moved to support an effort to support those in need. Next opportunity in the volunteerism category is the empathizer. One who has the ability to understand and relate to others' emotional needs without judging and provides assistance accordingly. Community serve the less fortunate. The benefit to the community provides guidance, fulfills need to connect with someone, and the benefit to the notary is the gratification of helping others. Laquita Gaskins, NNA 2015 Notary of the Year from Kentucky, epitomizes the idea of helping others. It founded Shiloh City of Peace Foundation, caters to the homeless, less fortunate, and those with substance abuse dependency. One of the goals of the foundation is to guide people towards the right path through community service. The Queen of Willingly. The next category of opportunities in the community is government. This category highlights opportunities for notaries who perform services provided to facilitate the legal process. The election judge participates in a democratic process of electing our government officials by serving as election judges, technicians, and instructors. Community serve the general public and our government. The benefit to the community is fair and accessible voting opportunity. The benefit to the notary is serving the public and the government, and it also provides an additional stream of income. This is a paid opportunity. The work is very detail-oriented, and the hours can be very long, sometimes as many as 16 hours for the day. Some of the key services, service positions include chief election judge who oversees and is responsible for all staff, operations, and the election process in a specific voting precinct. Elaine and I both have served as chief election judges. Other positions are check-in judge who are the face that interacts directly with voters. Election judge trainers, technician, computer technicians, and election judge verifiers and watchers. You can Google your state board of elections to determine how to apply and get training 
to be an election judge. Another opportunity is process serving. Fills a valuable role in serving legal documents to individuals. The community serve the government. Benefit to the community, cost savings. Benefit to the notary, an additional stream of income and serving the government. Michelle Riley, 2014, NNA Special Honoree from Alabama, has been tagged as the process server. She serves writs, warrants, and subpoenas to individuals. You can reference additional information at NNA's Notary Bulletin, Can Notaries Also Be Process Server, and NNA Notary Bulletin, Grow Your Business Serving Court Documents. Next is a legislative participant who engages in the legislative process by testimony and proposing laws. The community serves the general public and notary public profession. The benefit to the community is new or improved services. The benefit to the notary is participation in legislation that affects notary public professionals. You can participate in your legislative process by keeping abreast of changes that may impact notaries public, connect with and establish a working relationship with your local Secretary of State office, and consult NNA's website for legislation information on tracking proposed and pending notary legislation and analyses of new notary legislation. In 2010, Elaine and I, along with other Maryland notaries, successfully participated in legislative hearings to preserve the right for us to continue to operate as no signing agent. Also, Daniel Lewis from Indiana participated in the legislative process that resulted in raising the notarial fee from $2 to $10. The fourth category of opportunities in the community is service provider. The service provider highlights opportunities for notaries who provide notarial services in a particular business area. Notary Signing Agent provides full-time and part-time mortgage closing services to clients. Community serve homeowners, signing companies, title companies. Benefit to the community, convenience, increased business productivity business to the notary, an additional stream of income. Doug DeBolt, notary signing agent from Indiana, and Donnell Smith, notary signing agent from Maryland, assist in real estate closings involving a mortgage. COVID-19, as discussed earlier, is a scary event that has caused us to rethink and reevaluate how we live and work, but it has not diminish the desire of homeowners to take advantage of favorable interest rates. During this critical time, notary signing agents were designated as essential workers by the U.S. Treasury Secretary. Doug DeVolt, a full-time notary signing agent, and Donnell Smith, a part-time notary signing agent, both used stringent safety measures and continued to provide expertise to the mortgage community. For information on designation of notary signing agents as essential workers, you can reference NNA's Notary Bulletin, U.S. Treasury Secretary, signing agents are part of essential services during COVID-19 emergency. For more information on how to become a notary signing agent, click on the link at the end of this presentation how do I become a notary signing agent? Another opportunity is title insurance producer, independent contractor. A title insurance producer, independent contractor, AKA TIPIC, is licensed as an independent contractor, performs a majority of purchase closings for title companies. Communities serve title companies, real estate agents and brokers and purchasers. The benefit to the community serve convenience, education, and 
one augment staff in conducting loan closings. The benefit to the notary, an additional stream of income. Iris Collins from Maryland has been tagged as the TIPIC. Maryland is one out of two states that require a TIPIC license. Signing agents have to meet the same qualifications as staff or agents of a title company. Iris works directly with three title companies in Maryland, Washington, D.C., and Virginia. Another opportunity is the linguist. The linguist is a multilingual notary who provides mortgage services in different languages. The community serves the journal public and mortgage clients. The benefit to the community serve, it's a specialized service. It provides convenience and it increases productivity. The benefit to the notary, an additional stream of income, plus a preferred title company listing. Ron Foster, notary signing agent from Maryland, has been tagged as the linguist. He assists real estate closings involving a mortgage in a second language. For more information on the advantages of being a bilingual notary, you can reference NNA's bulletin, Bilingual Notaries, the first call for many signing services. Another opportunity in the service provider category is office notary. An office notary provides notarial services at the place of employment. The community serves employers, business clients, and co-workers. The benefit to the community serve, oh, it provides convenient and accurate notarial services. The benefit to the notary, personal development, training, and in some cases, a statutory fee. Debbie Best notary public professional from Maryland is a resident notary at her place of employment. For more information on becoming a workplace notary, you can reference NNA's bulletin, what every office notary should know. The fifth category of opportunities in the community is education. This category highlights opportunities for notaries who choose to provide educational services to facilitate learning of proper notarial practices and procedures. The educator teaches notaries how to perform notarizations properly and keep abreast of notary laws and technology. The community serves novice and seasoned notaries public and aspiring notary signing agents, also known as title insurance producer, independent contractors. The benefit to the community, current and accurate knowledge on proper notarial procedures. The benefit to the notary educator, gratification in helping others, and an additional stream of income. Frederick Harris, notary public procedures instructor, and Elaine Wright Harris, Notary Public Procedures Instructor and NNA 2009 Notary of the Year from Maryland. They have been teaching notary procedures classes at Prince George's Community College for 18 years. Next in the education category is healthcare training, one who trains notaries and healthcare facilitators on notary procedures regarding healthcare type documents educates organizations on the notarial process. The community serves notaries and healthcare facilitators. The benefit to the community, knowledge and understanding of notarial requirements. The benefit to the notary, gratification of helping others and an additional stream of income. Laura Buell, NNA 2005, Special Honoree from California, trains healthcare facility staff and notaries. Servicing this community requires compassion, accuracy, and reliability. You can reference additional information on this opportunity at NNA's Notary Bulletin entitled, Five Tips 
when notarizing for medical patients. Another opportunity in the education category, host an educational event. It can be a one-time or annual notary event. For the past eight years, I have conducted and hosted an annual notary public day program that is attended by more than 200 notaries from Maryland and surrounding areas. Guest speakers and workshop presenters include government officials, industry, and notary professionals from around the country. This program recognizes notary public professionals for their hard work and commitment to the general public and provi provides notarial education and information about legal requirements, business best practices and procedures, and current events that are important to performing notarial responsibilities properly, effectively, and legally. The community serves guests and industry and government officials. The benefit to the community serve awareness, knowledge, and education. Benefit to the notary education, benefit to the notary is education, training, entertainment, and recognition. This completes our descriptions of the five categories of opportunities in the community that you may choose to pursue. Next, Wanda will explain how you can determine your role in the community. In order to determine your role in the community, you can take a personal assessment and then match your passion and skills with the community's needs. Your personal assessment may include inviting, evaluating your traits, skills, qualifications, education, experience and accomplishments. Do you like to dig into the details of a matter or are you a big picture person? Do you have special talents like speaking multiple languages? Do you enjoy public speaking, helping others, teaching? Who are you? Which hat do you prefer? Extrovert, introvert, thinker, feeler, intuitive, or judger? The Meyer Briggs personality types test can help you answer these questions. The test provides insight on how you perceive and interact with the world around you and also how you make decisions. There are many versions of the test. Google Myers Briggs on the internet and take one or more of these tests to discover your personal preferences. Elaine? Let's match your passion and skills with the community needs. Do you have a passion for providing services for a particular purpose or in a particular business area, such as performing marriages or performing mortgage closing services? Do you possess the traits and skills of reliability, detail-oriented, people skills, and trustworthiness? Let's take a look at the community pictured here. Look to the far left. We see residential living. There are surely some lovers seeking a wedding officiant to tie the knot, or homeowners seeking services of a notary signing agent to assist in the mortgage loan closing. What about Jones Construction to the right? Employees of a construction company who work long hours find it a little difficult to conduct business during the day. They could use a workplace notary for the convenience of having important documents notarized on site. The hospital, located in the center of this community, many pro bono and paid notarial services could be provided there for patients and staff. Behind the hospital, EH Community College, just waiting for a notary to teach notary public procedures. You can develop your action plan and carve out your role. And when we put all this together, it becomes a win-win for the community and notary public professionals. For the community, solutions to various types of notarial requests are satisfied. Appreciation for non-notarial services are provided. Available, timely, 
accurate, and professional notarial services are provided. For notary public professionals, it satisfies the desire and need to give back to the community. Also, multiple offerings of income opportunities for the notary public professional can be quite an advantage. Elaine and I thank you for viewing this presentation. Thank you. We hope you found the information helpful. Please post your questions and comments below. Have a good day and be safe. We look forward to seeing you at future NNA conferences.